Hello and welcome to God's View. We're so glad you joined us today. Every time we do these programs, we're so excited. And we're excited because the Holy Spirit is stirring in us to come to you and bring what he has for you. And we're just kind of delivering what he has within us and is stirred in us. And we get so excited. Remember to call the prayer lines at the bottom of the screen, 307-637-PRAY. I cannot say this enough, and I will say it over and over again in every program. We are seeing results on the prayer lines. God is moving on those prayer lines, touching people's lives and healing uh, relationships and bodies and, I mean, people with discouragement, oppression, depression, getting touched by the living God, the Holy Spirit coming in and just comforting and just setting them free. And so we are... We are more than honored. We are so blessed and excited to be a part of what God is doing through this program coming into your home through the airwaves to see us agree and see your breakthrough. It's, it's just a powerful, awesome thing. And so thank you for joining us. And uh, we're going to have a great topic today, so please call your friends. And I'm going to introduce all of us to you right now. Uh, you new viewers, welcome. You know, and we love all of the old viewers too. Well, we don't say old viewers, but regular viewers. Let's put it that way. Nobody likes to hear old, especially women. But anyways, our regular viewers, oh, God bless you. Welcome. And new viewers, I'm Charlene back to Marian, one of your God's View hosts. This is uh, Jennifer Griffin, uh, Marianne Peluso, and we have Lana Gardner. And we welcome you, us girls welcome you to the program today. And most of all, we welcome the Holy Spirit Amen. because you acknowledge the Holy Spirit whatever you do yes. and you are going to have power in every situation because God himself this is uh, another thing we uh, reiterate a lot is that Jesus himself said it's good for you that I go away because if I don't I can't leave the comforter the Holy Spirit the one who leads and guides you into all truth it's the same spirit that raised Christ Jesus from the dead and he'll raise you from dead places too maybe you've been crying out today yeah. Oh, God, I, I need this in my yeah. life, or I need that in my life, or yeah. something's got to happen. I need a breakthrough. Hey, the Holy Spirit is right there with power <laughs> to come in and change your situation, to comfort you if you had loss, to love on you, to, of course, always, what will the Holy Spirit do? Lead you back to truth, the Father in the Son. Yeah. And so, welcome, 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 welcome. Our topic today is... Oh, I mean, really, you all need to stay in tune oh, and call some friends. Thing. How to recognize unhealthy soul ties. Mm -hmm. This was one of Jennifer's that was on her heart. You know, because God just gives us something, and we try to really always work together because not one of us can just get everything. God always uses the body, the whole yeah. saints, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. We all have a part. We all have something important. And there may be something on Lana's heart that, that just really needs to be heard mm -hmm. through the airwaves today. Mm -hmm. And I'm not getting that, mm -hmm. you know, or yeah. one of the others will. And so Jen, with all of that said, wow, how to recognize unhealthy soul ties. Yeah. You know, um, when I think about, um, there's a lot of examples of, mm -hmm. you know, different kinds of soul ties, mm -hmm. but I, I think of someone that has been maybe walking in a relationship and they're in this relationship with this person that continually um, abuses them, mm -hmm. okay? And there's, a, whether it be um, vocal, uh, verbal abuse or whether it be physical abuse, there's abuse happening at all times. And and what happens is, a lot. You, when you're in that, you'll think, well, this is not right, this is not good, and you end up cutting it off. But somehow or another, 
that person works their way back into your life and into mm -hmm. your heart. And mm -hmm. that's called a soul tie. That's called something that is pulling on our heartstrings because there's been a connection with something in you, with something in them. And unhealthy. so unhealthy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and so it could be, you know, yes. different kinds of relationship. Doesn't have to be a man and a woman. It can be um, a situation of even at a, you know, at a church or at, you know, if you feel like you're, if there's domination and you have to do what someone says, and you're you're underneath this that that can be an unhealthy soul tie too yeah. so if you can recognize um, it comes in different forms it can be um, with a friend if someone's mm -hmm. if there's control and, and you're always feeling controlled and you you have to please this person and and you feel like you're catering there's something that's in you something that's in them connecting mm -hmm. that's not right that's unhealthy and so that's China just to start it with. Yes, and the devil makes you just what you were saying. That person always feels lesser than the other yeah. one. That person always knows more. It's almost like when we talk about a Jezebel spirit. Right. You know, that person always, and, and, and you say it really good too, you know, because I, I used to, you know, I, I would bring this forth a lot from the pulpit. If you're always feeling like you're walking on eggshells around yeah. a person, it really helps you there's something not right. You shouldn't right. feel like, if you're a friend and, and all that, you should feel like you're walking around on eggshells mm -hmm. or if somebody's higher than you because God mm -hmm. always, through people, loves people. He doesn't make you feel lesser than. Yes. You know, That's the enemy right. comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Yeah. And then he comes to make you feel condemned. And this is another thing that God showed me a long time ago. He said, Charlene, when one comes into a city, like the, the city council or whatever, when a city condemns a building, it's because that building is unfit for use. The devil wants to come in with condemnation daily with your life to make you feel unfit for use. So if you're feeling that way through somebody, that person could be being used and you have this very unhealthy soul tie that needs to be broken because mm -hmm. you should not feel condemned or lesser than anybody. You shouldn't. That's right. That's right. You know, you may look up to somebody and there may be, you know, wisdom and knowledge that you're gaining from somebody like a pastor, your pastor or evangelist or somebody that you watch that you really gain a lot of. Like you love David Wilkerson. You get mm -hmm. so much out of that. And he's mm -hmm. such a man of God. Mm -hmm. You know, well, you know, and he's home with the Lord now, but he's still his videos go on. They can watch them. And and you should always feel a part of and not feel like you're lesser than yeah, that's right. because it's unhealthy then it's unhealthy and it could be an unhealthy soul tie mm -hmm. you know right. it just really can I, I think sometimes when you're married and your mate has a tendency to have a, a friend of the same gender and can, he's he, he or she the wife or the spouse or the, yes, are, are confiding in another person yes, that's, mm -hmm. in an area where they should be confiding in their own mate. Yes. And then they become soul tied yeah. and they start mm -hmm. thinking about the other person and they become confused about, oh, am I in love with this other mm -hmm. person? It, it's not healthy. And so you have to break off a, a soul tie like that's that. That's exactly Amen. where I was going to go. That is mm -hmm. so perfect because mm -hmm. people need to know this. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't get it. And what happens even in a workplace, a workforce, yeah. or, when, you know, the best thing we can tell you, and one thing that has been with my husband and I, he doesn't go to lunch alone with a woman. I don't go to a lunch alone with a man. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter how long yeah. we've been friends. That's right. All those kind of things. Because what starts happening, if you start confiding in the other sex, um, you do, just like Lana said, you start getting this emotional soul tight. That's mm -hmm. what I call it. It starts with yeah. this emotional place mm -hmm. because, oh, they're listening to you, but so-and-so isn't. Mm -hmm. Your husband isn't, mm -hmm. or your wife isn't. Mm -hmm. Oh, they understand and they care. Yeah. No, the the enemy is bonding you with a ungodly soul yeah. tie because mm -hmm. God tied you to your husband or your spouse, uh, you, whether it be man or woman. And you have to recognize that and do whatever you can to run from that mm -hmm. as fast as you can because it starts emotionally. Then guess what? Yeah. Pretty soon you think they're the cat's meow, yeah. they're gorgeous, and That's then right. you're physically attracted. Then the next step, you don't count the cost anymore. Sin is wonderful, the Bible says. It feels, and I mean, not wonderful, the Bible says like that. It says that it feels good in the beginning, but it is death 
in the end. Yeah. So you get the emotional, then you get the physical, and then guess what? He draws you right into mm -hmm. the uh, uh, sexual. Right, right, right. And pretty soon you're falling with this person and you've just devastated children and friends mm -hmm. and moms and dads because it's not only right. you that is involved. Mm -hmm. yeah. Many people get hurt through ungodly soul ties. And so, you know, girls, we probably, yeah. with this program, let's all just really see what God is saying here yeah. and, and listen and be very sensitive. And we need to pray to yeah. break yeah. some ungodly mm -hmm. soul ties. Right. And whoever's feeling really stirred, mm -hmm. well, you got yeah. something to say, go ahead. Well, I, I want to go with that because I feel like there's there's somebody out there okay. in an abusive relationship oh, mm. okay. and you you don't know how to get free because yeah. you you you're taken in by the tears you're taken in by that person coming back to you mm -hmm. and saying forgive me I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry oh, but they yes. continue to do the same right. thing mm -hmm. over and over right. again mm -hmm. so uh, you know right now in the name of in Jesus, Jesus name we right. just we, yes. we thank you Lord we thank you for cutting those soul ties from yes. that heart that precious one's heart right, right now in Jesus name and we thank mm -hmm. you for cutting the t soul ties from the heart and Lord God that no all disconnect from that in Jesus we name agree. and we thank you father and I, I want to say to you too you need this you need to if this is going on you need to remove yourself you need to um, stop the contact you need even yes. even a text message will ch change your heart it will pull you in a uh, voicemail anything will pull you in mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. so cut off everything you can That's do right. in the natural mm -hmm. and ask God for the help that that soul tie mm -hmm. you know if it's been something that you've gone back and forth a lot with ask the Lord to set you free because he wants to set you free mm -hmm. today and yeah. that's yeah. how yeah. you know you're that's how you know you have a soul tie is yes. when you cannot move on yes when you can't keep looking at the past when you let that person in your life through the door that's how you can recognize I remember I was in a relationship and this person would come back and say they were sorry and I just could not I couldn't uh, resist and I gave in and you know you have to say no you have to confront that mm -hmm. thing a lot mm -hmm. of times it is Jezebel there's yeah. control mm -hmm. and domination and, and manipulation so you're listening today and how do I know I have a soul tie you can't move on you That's just good. cannot break yeah. that thing. Well, yeah. we're here today to yeah. pray and believe like Jennifer yes. just prayed. If you believe that and you receive that, then close every door. And when they come yeah. back, just say no. Yeah, mm -hmm. even vows. Sometimes I'll love you forever. There's no man or a mm -hmm. woman that could ever please me ever. You have to break that vow yeah. break, that you yes. made. You yes. spoke it out of your mouth. And, and That's right. And that that is taken very seriously. And also, you know, if you're obsessed with a certain musical group, like a rock group or mm, something like mm -hmm. that, a lot of people are and they idolize them. They become truly obsessed with it. You've got to break that soul tie because, you know, like all the girls said, it just makes you confused. Mm -hmm. yes. There's something wrong. But when you when you break that, it's really that's good because when you do break that, you have like you said, close the doors. Mm -hmm. Don't allow um, whether it's a relationship or whatever, um, close the doors to that relationship or close the doors to that. You know, listening to something that you shouldn't be listening to mm -hmm. because if you do it again, it's just going to come right back. Right, mm -hmm. and, and so, anything that hinders or binds you, you can't be yourself. Uh, you have your you're off to the side you're mm -hmm. secluded from people they isolate yes. you there's oh, control there mm -hmm. and and so in domination that's the devil but god brings liberty and freedom yes and I think godly it, soul ties will make you feel insecure if you're feeling yeah. all of these feelings and you just don't know why all of a sudden, because that ungodly soul tie, the devil wants to keep you tied to all that. And it comes with everything bad, mm -hmm. comes with everything evil. It does not come with the good things of God. Mm -hmm. And so once you break it, like all of us have, have presented to you, and you just easily, like, like when... Uh, uh, Jennifer prayed, you just break it in the name of Jesus. Yeah. You just break the power of mm -hmm. its hold through the power of the blood of Jesus. And then you'll start having that strength to move forward. But until you are serious in your heart That's right. and you break that thing, mm -hmm. then God can come in with the power of the Holy Spirit and really back that up and give you more yeah. and more strength to say no, say no. 
you know, just refuse, refuse, because it is hard when someone comes back begging and mm -hmm. carrying yeah. on, and and because the devil's right there, and, and you want to believe everything. No, just go on, and then if everything's to change, God will change it. Mm -hmm. I think it's healthy too that if you were involved in, say, an ungodly sexual relationship, yeah. and there were mm -hmm. gifts given, like negligee or flowers or whatever, oh, get rid yeah. of those things. Amen. Mm -hmm. well, because that's a tie right can, there. Can we go to the, I, I think for someone watching, I just sense that you need to back up and go to the root. And a lot of times the root is codependence. We can't, we have soul ties and get in these situations, girls, because there's an insecurity within us. And so yes. let's step back. And you're there today. You've, you have a soul tie. You've been in a relationship that's not unhealthy. And here you are bound up. Well, stepping back, the Lord wants to release you today and give you freedom so that you don't have the tendency mm -hmm. to, a be co you know, to yeah, enable someone, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And I think that's really important, even if it's in just um, someone that maybe, I, and, and just something comes to mind for me is like a friendship that becomes codependent. And it can happen with women with women, um, friendships that, you know, if you feel, if you're insecure in an area right. and this comes in right. and it and it actually will dominate you even more and make you feel in, oh. more insecure in, wow. a, in an area. And so, you know, I'm thinking about even my own life and what mm -hmm. has happened in my life. You know, there's times where something's come in and made me feel like less than that I should back off because... Um, that person has more anointing than me, you know, with, with situations. And that's not the case. It's intimidating. Yeah. Yeah. But it actually comes back to root in me right. that may not have been healed yet. Exactly. And so God wants us to exactly. get the healing. And that's what that's you're saying. It. Yeah. And so when, when you said about the necklace mm -hmm. and all the stuff that's connected, mm -hmm. it reminded mm -hmm. me, Lana, of this scripture. In Deuteronomy 7, 26. Thank God for little phones. I just looked it up. You know, <laughs> I just right. said, where's the... Cause Mine in the, does in the King James Version, it I says, just, it yeah. says uh, if you bring the accursed thing in, you will be cursed. Mm -hmm. In other words, when you connect to these ungodly things, if it's like a picture or if it's like a negligee or whatever, mm -hmm. um, it could be connected to things. And in Deuteronomy 7, 26, here's the thing that everybody needs to know. That when it, Scripture says something, I mean... Scripture is, it's true, it's valid, it's, it's done deal. And so it says in Deuteronomy 7, 26. Now, like I said in King James, it's if you bring the accursed thing in, you will be cursed. But here's another version, New International. Do not bring a detestable thing into your house or you, like it, will be set apart for destruction. Because wow. there's things that are connected yeah. to things. People don't understand that, but there really is. We just don't say that to throw it out there. Right. It says, regard it as vile and utterly mm -hmm. detest it, for it is set apart for destruction. So when you receive something like that, mm -hmm. it was already set apart, huh, Lana? Mm -hmm. For destruction. That's it was right. already had. It was evil it's intent. Yeah. It, was, it had sin with it. It's connected with something. Mm -hmm. It even says in Corinthians, when you lie with one, you become one. That's right. Because that's how powerful. When you have a sexual relationship mm -hmm. with somebody, mm -hmm. you become one. That's the right. Word of God says it. Mm -hmm. We don't say that. So that is a soul tie and a half. That's and right. Think, and I, it's hard to get off. It, it really is. You, yeah. that's the, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I was no. just thinking, no. um, you know, people have pictures out there. They have letters right. from people. Yes. They have things they need to get yes. rid of. Absolutely. You need to destroy <clears throat> these things. Right. If you want Absolutely. to be set free, you have to get rid of these old things, right. gifts, necklaces, right. clothes, like she was saying, Lana was saying, you know, if you have gifts from people, That's if you right. really want to be set free from the situation, you need to give those over That's and right. get rid of them, take That's them to the right. trash, whatever mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, the yes. Bible, what Charlene was saying, the Bible says a little leaven leavens the whole lump, mm -hmm. and a, a fly in the ointment, yeah. they would make ointment, oil, if a fly flew in that, the whole that was ruined. So you might think today, oh, well, I'm just flirting with this woman's husband. I'm just doing that. No, if you are connected at all, the whole of your life is spoiled. The whole of your life is ineffective. God wants you to be effective today. Yeah. Well, you know, the Bible says that we have the mind of Christ. And therefore, if we're not at peace,
peace with the situation. That's good. There's something wrong. That's right. Mm -hmm. Something very wrong. And usually when, when you're involved in, in an illicit relationship of any kind like we've talked about, you're never at peace. Mm -hmm. And so that's, that's how beyond a shadow of a doubt you know it. Now sometimes your flesh is entertained. And you, and you want it to be entertained, and, and that's why you're not allowing yourself to sever that cord. But believe me, you know, believe me, when you do, you will feel freedom like you've just Amen. been let out of prison. Amen. Well, Lon, and that's perfect because I was um, thinking about the scripture when I just said a few uh, minutes ago about when you lie with one in Corinthians, it says you become mm -hmm, one. Mm -hmm. And what happens is what you're saying, when you when you put your soul tie with somebody yes. or when you start sleeping with many people mm -hmm. and all of a sudden you're just your whole life, maybe you've slept with a lot of people up until this point and, and your whole life just feels scattered because if you sleep with them and you become one, all of a sudden you have all these pieces of all these people and you don't even know who you are anymore mm -hmm. because it's a big deal to God because right here, um, uh, our little phones, thank God, I looked it up while we were talking. First Corinthians six sixteen says, don't you know that a man who joins himself mm -hmm. to someone uh, becomes one with her, mm -hmm. the two will become one flesh. In another one it says, don't you know that a man who does that becomes of her body. Mm -hmm. The scripture says the two of them will be like one. Mm -hmm. And they had uh, even another version that says, you know, that when they sleep with the harlot or when one sleeps around a lot, it says that you f physically become one with that person. And, and what happens is when we're talking about ungodly soul ties, mm -hmm. you become Fragment it. You become yeah, all yeah. these pieces Confused. of all these people. Yes. Yeah. And it only takes one time. And that's what yeah. I read about the little, the le you just leaven. Think all the times. A little leaven leavens mm -hmm. a whole lump. Yes. You might say, well, it was only one time, or I'm just going to do this one time. That one time will spoil the whole work yeah. of God, the whole plan of God in your life. The whole. Your whole, the whole thing will be spoiled. The, yes. not, the good thing with that, though, is that the good news is that you can repent and that you can turn yes. this around. You, God will Absolutely. show you because if That's there's been many, God. many people that you have slept with, I mean, it, we, you know, everybody's made mistakes, and so God's not condemning, but you receive Him. Good but job. you go to each place, ask the Lord to show you the mm -hmm. name of the person or whatever, and break the soul ties, repent for what you did with them, re repent and break the soul ties. Amen. Say, I break it in the name of Jesus and and go through each one of them. Right. I, I believe that's how you get unfragmented. You get yourself back yes. right. because yes. it's through the blood of Jesus only can we be whole. And so by praying it out, and, and, and I think you do need to name them all because there can be, I mean, you know, different situations or as the Holy Spirit leads you. But I really believe it's important. Yes, I love that. Mm -hmm. I love that because what you're saying and what we're all about and what God is all about is redemption. Yes. He wants to redeem you. We certainly aren't up here. Just, you know, you may have tuned in and, and you hear us saying, well, you quit sleeping around. it. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. we, we, would, what, we would love that. But listen, God loves you. Yeah. He's Redeemer. He wants you set free. We are talking mm -hmm. about ungodly soul ties if you just tuned in, okay? Um, so don't change the channel. Um, listen to what, what God is saying through us and then go get the CD or the DVD off of the website at the bottom of the screen because it will really, really help you. Um, we're not just trying to bash you. We're like what no, Jen just said, condemn. No, He's not it, condemning. It's a good thing if you have... It's a, our God is a great physician, yeah. and we wouldn't think of having um, symptoms of not feeling well or things going mm -hmm. right in our life and go physically and going to a doctor. Do we go to a doctor and say, well, how could you do that to me? You just told me I had cancer. No, it's a good thing. Yeah. Yes. God loves us. He shows yes. us these things because we don't even realize they're there. So a doctor has to diagnose the disease and then he can treat it. So what we're saying today is God is showing you through us and this topic is so good because so many mm -hmm. people are walking around scattered and confused and they don't yes, know why. Lie. Jesus will heal you today mm -hmm. as you acknowledge what the, uh, the symptoms are, he's the healer. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. he is, God. he's right. the healer. Yeah, if God were standing in front of you right this moment, how do you think he would instruct you? 
And for you to remember that everything he instructs you for it's is for, for a blessing for Amen. you. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want you hurt. Mm -hmm. And you have yeah. to be persistent with these soul ties. Yeah. Amen? Yes. You know, you have oh. to keep saying it. No, I don't want it. I don't want it. I want to honor God. Mm -hmm. I want to serve God. I, I don't want to be in confusion. I want peace. Yeah. And yeah, God will yeah. bring it. Yeah, that's He'll right. Bring you, it a victory every time. You said a perfect word, persistent, because it, sometimes it doesn't happen the first time. They say, "Oh, yeah. well, we did that and it didn't work." Yes, it will work. Anything will in our work. life, we have to be disciplined. If you quit smoking, say, mm -hmm. "I mean, that that thing's going to keep coming because you're used to that. It's going to keep going to keep good. wanting you to mm -hmm. have this. You know, you have this mm -hmm. urge or whatever you want to call it to have a cigarette. Mm -hmm. You know, I used to smoke. I smoked for years. I mean, I haven't been delivered for since the day I got born again for over thirty years. But and thank you, Jesus, that He did that for me. Mm -hmm. uh, and for some of you, it didn't happen that easy, and it's probably, you know, very difficult, and you may mm -hmm. still be smoking, you may be saved, it ain't going to send you hell, but it sure gets you sick. Mm -hmm. uh, but the thing is, is there's an urge, and so you have to be disciplined enough mm -hmm. and persistent, mm -hmm. is what Lana said, to say no, and then mm -hmm. one day, that's not going to keep coming knocking at your door. Mm -hmm. yeah. You'll be delivered because it takes be. discipline, it takes mm -hmm. persistence, it takes saying no to the devil mm -hmm. a lot, and you just keep doing it, and I've seen too many people delivered, yeah. including myself. So yeah. listen, it can happen for yeah. you. You know, I used to smoke too, and but I remember the days when I finally stopped, and and someone would say something like to me, "Do you mind if I smoke?" And I'd say, "No." Do you mind if I vomit? <laughs> that was always my Whoa, standard answer. Two oh. minutes. Oh, great! Wow. Wasn't oh, this a great it show? Was good. <laughs> this was a great program. Mm. Um, I we really believe with all of our hearts that it helped you. Amen. But here's what will really help you more than anything. For those of you, maybe you're backslidden today. You know, God loves the backslider. He calls you back and draws you back over and over. Maybe you fell right now and you're a Christian man or woman. You know, it happens in worship teams. It happens in the church all the time. And not, it's sad, it's heartbreaking. And, and you may just feel so separated from God. But listen, you mm. know, repent Get back into relationship, right fellowship with God. Amen. And, and those of you who don't know him, never have asked him in, just say, Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me of my sin. I believe you're the son of God. Because the Bible says just believe in your uh, heart, confess with your mouth, and you will be saved. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's that simple. People say, oh, it can't be that simple. My life's a mess. Hey, mine was a real mess. <laughs> I mean, everybody on here can tell you the glass was shattered and God had to pick up a lot of pieces. <laughs> But he did it. Yes. Yeah. And along the way, here we are. Mm -hmm. And he wants to do it for you. So just That's say right. that prayer. And if you did, mm -hmm. call the prayer line. It's 307 637 pray That's 7729. We'd love to pray with you. And we'd love to hear yeah. that you got saved. Or yeah. send it on the email. You know, I get all these prayer requests over our email. It just thrills us. You know, we wouldn't even know that we were doing anything if we didn't get all your calls That's and your right. letters and, yeah. and prisons and everything. We are Prayer so grateful. Requests. Prayer yeah. requests. Yeah. We are so thankful. Mm -hmm. But you know what? We love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. He's got such a great love mm -hmm. for you. He wants to see you set free today. Yes, and we thank you so much for joining us. Tell people about the program. Go watch us free on iPhones, Droids. You can download the app right off of our website or just look for it. Search for it. We love you. It's only goodbye for today. Go to www.GodsViewTVShows.com to view all God's View TV show hosts, books, and CDs. Joshua and Jennifer Griffin's music CDs. Marianne Peluso's music CDs. Lana Gardner books and Charlene Dr. Marianne's books. Visit www.